Last week, John McCain made headlines saying President Obama is directly responsible for Orlando. But once the left put on the heat, McCain got out of the kitchen. He did what we're used to. He folded like a cheap lawn chair and said he'd misspoken. John McCain didn't misspeak. Actually, he realized he had implicated himself. You see, John McCain, Barack Obama, and Hillary Clinton have been partners in creating and arming ISIS. Here are the facts. In 2011, John McCain was the lead voice in the Senate calling for arming of the so-called Libyan rebels to overthrow Colonel Gaddafi. McCain even traveled to Benghazi in April of 2011 and called them his heroes. Are you concerned about the people that are actually Thanks. fighting for the opposition here? Any worries about them? Fighting for the opposition? Mm -hmm. I, I, they're my heroes. Just one year later, McCain's heroes used those weapons to kill Ambassador Chris Stevens and three other brave Americans. After McCain, Obama and Hillary had turned Libya into a terrorist playground, they shifted their attention to equipping the opposition against Assad in Syria. A 2012 State Department memo clearly says the opposition to Assad was Al-Qaeda in Iraq. That's right, the same terrorists who our soldiers had been fighting in Iraq became McCain's new heroes in Syria. In May of 2013, McCain traveled to Syria and was photographed with Syrian rebels, who may well have become leading figures in what would later be called ISIS. McCain returned to the United States and lobbied Congress to fund arm and support these al-Qaeda freedom fighters to the tune of a half a billion dollars. Last year we learned McCain's Syrian scheme yielded only four or five good rebels actually fighting Assad. There are only four or five U.S. trained Syrian fighters on the ground fighting ISIS. Not four or five hundred. The rest took our training and weapons and became ISIS. Just this week, John McCain bragged about an additional $1.3 billion to provide weapons to more Syrian jihadists and to provide border security. Not in Arizona, but in Lebanon and Jordan. I'm Dr. Kelly Ward and I'm running for the United States Senate because John McCain has equipped our enemies, put our soldiers in harm's way, and turned even our own American soil into a battleground. Arizona needs a senator who represents Arizona, not ISIS.